Are these aragonite crystals fake? I mean, nothing could possibly be this pink naturally, could it? Let's put it to the test. Okay, I'm not actually crazy, so we're gonna do our tests on this broken piece that I have instead of using my best specimens. First, we're gonna split it in half and see if the color inside is even. So here is our split. You can see that the striations of color are evenly distributed throughout the surface. A lot of the time when you see dyed stones, you'll see a darker perimeter of color with lighter to no color on the inside. That's because the dye doesn't penetrate all the way throughout the stone. For the next test, I've placed each half into a container, one with acetone and one with rubbing alcohol. Now we're gonna let these sit for 24 hours. Let's take a look at our test subjects. So this is the one that was soaking in acetone. And you can see that the paper towel has absolutely no dye residue. But will the half soaking and rubbing alcohol have the same results? Looks like there's nothing unusual happening on the piece itself and there's no residue. Okay, I know what you're thinking. The ones I showed at the beginning were way more saturated, so that test wasn't really fair, was it? So I've come up with a compromise. We're gonna sand the bases to make sure there's no polishing wax or anything else blocking the results of the experiment. And we'll give that a quick wipe to make sure the color's still the same after sanding. Before we dive into this, I wanted to do a quick UV light test, which definitely checked out, but you should know this isn't actually a reliable method. That's because some dyes are UV reactive, and manufacturers will sometimes use these knowing that it's something people test for. You're better off hitting it with something a little more aggressive like acetone or rubbing alcohol. While acetone might not be able to catch every instance of artificial coloration, it is the better of the two and will affect most dyes. This mineral in particular is fairly soft and porous, so the chemicals should have no trouble entering the stone. Just like our first test, we're gonna let these marinate for 24 hours. After the full test period elapsed, there's still nothing on our paper towel, but will it withstand a scrub from the cotton pad? When checking for dyes, you should look closely for color inconsistencies that don't make sense in relation to the crystal structure. Pink aragonite is the trade name for this material, which is actually a combination of both aragonite and calcite. Chemically, the two minerals share the same formula. In geology, these are referred to as polymorphs. Usually you can tell them apart by their crystal structure, but it's nearly impossible to do without lab analysis when they occur in massive form. The color banding you see here is extremely common for calcite, and crystals in this group are often very saturated in color. The translucency of calcite also amplifies the intensity of the saturation. Next, we have to take a closer look to see if there's any dye pooling in the natural fracture lines. Looks like we're all clear. The banding on this piece also looks very natural, with the pink sections being translucent and the white ones being opaque. I also noticed a small pocket in the other stone. These are areas where dye usually gets stuck and appears really saturated. In this case, I didn't see any traces of artificial color. It might surprise you to know that most pink aragonite on the market is actually fake. But as you can see, it looks nothing like the natural specimens we just tested. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see if the fake piece can pass the test.